Good Wednesday morning. Let's try out this uh, fancy Nancy tripod Master Sergeant brought me yesterday. There we go up. There we go down. There we go up. <laughs> Alright, obviously, I'm not fishing today. Whatever this sickness that I have uh, was not supposed to be contagious, but um, Mama is down with the same thing this morning. She started feeling bad last night, so uh, she is in bed. I'm trying to keep an eye on her. Uh, we can be another day to fish. We'll go another day. Uh, running back and forth in, making sure she's okay. And I went ahead and lit the forge this morning. I had to do a lot of cleanup work because I hadn't been out here on it in a long time. <coughs> Pardon me. See, it's not, I'm still not quite over it, but. This morning I've got several things to do while I got the forge lit. I'm going to heat treat the 10 piece set. Get the heat treating done on that. Get ready for handles. The spoon carving set I've had cut out. I'm going to do the forging on that. Uh, the carbon set, I'm going to do the forging on that. And what else? I got something else to do while the fire's lit anyway. So give me a little bit. Let's get this fire cranked up good. And we'll be back in just a few minutes. All right, Chase, I told you that would come in handy. That big piece of round stock you sent. I'm going to use that to form the large... Uh, the large spoon knife. But bear with me just a minute. I'm almost up to temperature. And I'll show you how we're going to do that. Just like that. Now I'm not going to heat treat this yet because I need to uh, I need to stay soft so I can get the holes drilled wherever they're going to be and all that. <coughs> Pardon me. Let that cool. <coughs> well, now for the next one, I quit dropping stuff. That big drift pin you sent me, that will work very well for the small one. <coughs> now this is not real heavy forging, so this will work just fine. Alright, get them all hotted up and I'll show you some more. Now these next two are little gouges. Got a little slight concave to them. And what I did is took this drift pin and turned it around to where I've got a real narrow end right here. And show you how we do those. Just about the heat. curve to it just a little bit. Just like that. Now we'll do the next one. Now 
this is 1095 high carbon knife steel. Very good stuff. Very easy to forge. Very easy to work with. like that now let all those cool good now I'll start heat treating the 10 piece set y'all seen me heat treat before it's a matter of getting them hot and quenching that'll take a little while because I'm going to do one at a time uh, with this especially with 1095 it heats up so fast you get more than I've tried doing two or three at a time in the forge, and it's a good chance to get it too hot that way. So it takes a little bit longer, but it's well worth it to do it one at a time and get her done. So uh, I'll be back in a little while and show you all some progress. Now I remember what else I had to forge. If you all watched the video yesterday, Master Sergeant wants a fire striker out of that file. Got it cut down. Don't want to heat it. And forge these ends over. Bend them like a handle. And I'll do that next. And when I get it up to temperature, I'll just turn the camera on. And I'm going to use the same, the same drift pin. The reason I'm not using the anvil, because my anvil don't have a sharp horn. It has a wide horn on this one. So... It's much easier to use something that's round like that. So uh, let's get it hot and I'll show you what that looks like. Oops. One side, let's reset the reset that. No way, just right, a minute. Try it again. And I'm going to put it on the anvil for just a minute to flatten it. It says Nicholson USA. This is a Nicholson file. We want to leave that there. Clean that off. Now I'm going to do a double quench. I don't think I've showed you all that before. That means is I'm going to get the whole thing real hot. Because I want this steel just as hard as I can possibly get it to make sure it throws good sparks of uh, flint. Get it good and hot, and I'm going to quench the top edge. That's still hot. I'm going to quench the top edge in water. And when I get it like I want it, then I'll just dump the whole thing in the oil. And that'll help rust proof it and all that kind of stuff. But this top edge right here, that's where your sparks are going to come from. Let's see, let me get it back in the forge and I'm going to move the camera over here just a little bit so I can show you what I, exactly what I'm talking about. Alright. 
Alrighty, we get our hot. Alright, here we go. Hope y'all can see this. like that. Now that edge should be real, real, real hard. What I'm going to do, I'm going to let it cool real good and get it cleaned off real good and then we'll test it out inside the shop here in a little bit. Now, I think that's all the forging I have to do today. Because uh, the spoon set, I'll have to get get it all figured out before I um, before I heat treat it. And I'll probably use propane to heat treat it. Unless I get it done while the fire is still going. Yes, I am bleeding. Classic reason why you don't wear, a lot of people don't wear wedding bands. Especially this kind. I got my my hand got caught in there and that ring cut my hand so but if you wore one as long as I have you might as well just wear it alright we'll show you some more in just a little bit let's see well, I really, I'm liking this tripod very nice I like it uh, I won't even charge Master Sergeant for this since he gave me that. So, or maybe I should charge him double. <laughs> uh, let's see. See you in a little while.